hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is an unreal process has crashed uelotf2 so if you are receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like a vast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so for this uh, now if you are using windows security then you can open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to allow now click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so open the game folder and then select the game exe file now click on open again click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps and then open this folder binaries win64 now select this exe file and then click on open again click on add and allowed app you have to add all the exe file open check if there are any other exes file now go back and then open easy anti-cheat folder and then select this exe and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then do the same thing again so you have to open the game folder and then select all the exe file one by one open and then click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open add again click on allow another app click on add and click on browse first and then select this exe file click on open click on add again click on allow another app click on browse and then open easy anti-cheat folder select this exe file and then click on open now you can click on add and then you can launch the game and then you can check so once the game is added now check now the next step is to run install anti-cheat bad file now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files open over here you can see install anti-cheat file make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check also run easy anti-cheat file now for this you can open again make a right click manage browse open easy anti-cheat and then you can just make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can check still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall easy anti-cheat now for this you can go to the game exe file uh, sorry the game installation folder and over here you can see uninstall anti-cheat make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then again now after you uninstall it again make a right click over here on install anti-cheat and then click on run as administrator click on yes and then check still not working in that case you can uninstall anti-cheat so you can just make a right click and then run as administrator now uninstall anti-cheat and then launch the game when you launch the game during the uh, launching it will reinstall easy anti-cheat so here you can see it will install easy anti-cheat once again and then you can check so i'm closing the game for now let me close the game now still not working the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so first of all make a right click on the game ex game on steam and then click on browse local files now you can just make a double click over here launch the game and then check if that does not work open this folder 
and then open this folder win64 make a double click and launch the game if that does not work make a right click on this exe file properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again and this time put a check over here and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working this time you can try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check so still not working you can do the same thing with the first exe file so if not working do the same thing with the first exe file now when you put a check on all these boxes on the exe file still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can just uncheck all these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step do the same thing with the first exe file now the next step is to rename the save game files now before you rename the save game files you can create a backup first so for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data with it then click on view at the top click on show and then put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder open this lotf2 folder uh, you don't have to open it just copy this folder copy it and maybe create a backup so create a backup once you have a backup because this contains save game files all your save uh, when you rename the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to like you have to start everything from scratch so that's why create a backup first so for this you can just make a right click over here and then you can rename it dot old and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 and launch the game now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working so when when you still not working you can remove everything from here and then follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now still not working in that case uh, you can try to install amd amd optional update so you can just in google you can search for amd optional update and then over here uh, you can see that there are we also have 24 25 25.3.2 over here you, you also have 25.2.1 so try one by one so first of all you can try to install this uh, uh, EMD optional update that is uh, version is EMD 25.3.2 optional update you can click on this file you can run this file install it restart your computer and then check if that does not work you can even try to install 25.2.1 and then check now still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says 
perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete you restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd user first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver the current version and restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box so type in graphics settings in the search box and then go to graphics settings now over here click on add desktop app and then open the game folder and then open this LOTF2 folder binaries win64 select this shipping exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game select over here high performance you will see your graphic card over here again um, you can go scroll up and then click on add desktop app once again and then go back and then select the first exe file click on add over here once the game is added over here now you can find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game over here select high performance over here you will see your graphic card now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file and now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files so over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to install this x86 and x64 so download x86 and x64 so click on it if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow now, now download this x64 file again if you see, uh, run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete over here once installed then you have to restart your computer you can close this restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer so if your hotas wheel pedals connected if you have any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected and then launch the game and then check now if you have any extra controller connected disconnect sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect it and then launch the game now also disconnect the controller which which you're using right now disconnect the controller and then launch the game now once the game is up and running now you can connect the controller and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you also disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and over here turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running uh, you can just go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have like if you're running nvidia app then in that case you can go to nvidia app and then go to settings over here and over here turn off overlay also you can go to graphics if you see lots of the fallen over here and over here if you see optimize option you can optimize the game from here if you don't see it just ignore it also if you have any overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running reva tuner running any kind of overclocking application running close it if you have undervolt you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb 
so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on okay and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS so do not ignore this step. update the system BIOS now if you have any like if you have Dell computer go to Dell website if you have Lenovo go to Lenovo if you have HP computer go to HP website select your model number and update the BIOS during the BIOS update like in case of laptop if you have a laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive do not ignore this this has worked for many players so you can simply uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and install the game to c drive sometimes the game is installed to like if you have installed the game to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel